What is going on, IF Warriors? So here are the top five ways that you can keep fat off or even belly fat off. Now, there have been many studies done with people who have sustained weight loss. And in my personal opinion, the main problem that we do have is not so much weight loss as it is weight regain. So if you apply these top five tactics, you could actually keep that weight off. Now, let's go ahead and jump right so, into it. So quickly jumping into number one is continue physical activity. One thing that definitely tends to happen is that people sometimes set a goal. but And then once they reach that goal, they some sometimes they realize they want to go a little bit further. Because what they thought was going to be their body at a specific scale number tends not to be that body that they wanted so they keep pushing but once they reach that body type that they like they start to take their foot off the gas and herein lies the issue you don't want to stop doing physical activity because that's what got you to the place that you are in the first place you don't want to stop doing physical activity because that helps your metabolic rate and now your metabolism is slowed because you've lost weight. So if you don't have anything that will help you combat metabolic slowdown, then you are going to be fighting an uphill battle to keep that weight off. So it's important that when you lose that weight, you continue to do physical activity. And this has been seen across the board in studies of those who have sustained weight loss over time number two don't look at this as a get out of jail free card for you to start eating whatever you want this is another misconception a lot of people think that they just need to do things to lose weight and then they can go back to doing the things that they like one of the reasons why people call a diet a diet and think of it as a finite concept they'll do a diet get to a weight or a body shape that they like and then they'll go back to normal and life will be perfect because they'll be the weight that they want and eating the foods that they want and as much as they want of it well here's the truth if you revert to what you were doing it's only a matter of time until you go back to what you were doing in terms of the foods that you're eating you want to make sure that you are consistent and you pick a diet that actually becomes a lifestyle as hard as that seems now you can overcome that concept psychologically it might seem impossible to do one thing over and over and over again, and especially when it comes to the way you're eating, uh, the types of foods that you're eating. But trust me, once you do it enough times, it can become very commonplace. Obviously have variety, but make sure that the nutrition is still there within that variety. Make sure you have enough fiber. Make sure you're not overeating right make sure you're eating foods that are uh very satiating and uh but low in calories or lower in calories as opposed to foods that are highly palatable not satiating so don't that doesn't make you feel satisfied or full and then also they're calorie dense those things will work against you now it's not to say that you can't eat those things but make it very uh few and far between try to make sure that you're more consistent with the things that you need to do so that there's a deficit in terms of you actually uh going in the wrong direction or the opposite direction that you want to go into which is gaining more weight so make sure that you're not doing a diet but that you are doing a lifestyle change number three eat more protein make sure that there's more protein in your diet than normal because protein will actually help facilitate both number one and two as protein will help with muscle building as it contains the amino acids which are the building blocks for muscle fiber so it'll at least bare minimum help with muscle retention and hold on to as much muscle as possible even if you're at a caloric deficit but it's also satiating 
It's also satisfying. It's one of the most satisfying types of food, if not the most satisfying macronutrient that you can consume. And normally it's satisfying without so much calories. So you wanna make sure that you are eating as much protein as possible after weight loss to ensure that you're getting the best quality per calorie and just protein overall is incredibly helpful when it comes to maintaining weight loss from the aspect of muscle retention, muscle building, and satiety. Number four, stop doing the things that you did in the past that were triggering for weight gain. Now, a lot of things that we've done in terms of how we eat and what we eat and how much we eat is sometimes tied to a psychological behavior that took place when we were younger, a habit that we built over time into adulthood. So for example, watching TV at night can elicit a feeling of wanting to eat. If you have been eating and watching TV at night for a long time. Now, if you broke that chain, by maybe not doing that anymore so that you could help yourself lose weight um, or you've resisted doing uh, eating when watching TV, you're going to be constantly resisting that notion to eat while watching TV at night. So you want to be very conscious of this. Maybe watch TV with friends and family where you feel that that's not going to get you to a place where you're going to uh, just, you know, eat something or just don't watch TV. Do something different. Uh, you can use the computer. You can, uh, you know, do something else. Keep yourself preoccupied in a different way uh, to snap yourself from things that could trigger you to want to eat. Because although it's not triggering you now, we're not talking about weight loss, we're talking about sustained weight loss. Over time, it may creep up and trigger something where you want to eat, and that can be a downhill spiral. You might think to yourself, okay, I'll just eat right now. Um, even though now it's to the point where you will be overeating, you eat and then you think to yourself, well, I've already reached my goal, so it's not a big deal. And I just can go ahead and eat and your mind will take take and your mind will take that and say oh okay well the next time it's nighttime and you're watching tv it's not a big deal it won't be a big deal then right so let's go ahead and eat again and you might eat again and again and again and before you know it you are back into that flow and into that habit so you got to be very conscious i'm not saying don't do things that are fun not saying that but be very aware and make sure that you have things in place to prevent you from falling back into habits that you've built over the course of a lifetime and number five continue to mitigate eating out i understand i 100 understand eating out is fun you're with your friends you're with your family it's just a fun thing to do but there are so many different things you can do when you're hanging out with people it doesn't always have to be eating it could be bowling it could be uh you know beach activities it could be anything hey beach activities are perfect now because you've gotten to a place that you feel comfortable in terms of your body pick some beach activities do something that doesn't require having to eat now i understand that you can eat while doing these activities but you don't have to right if you went to a restaurant it would be incredibly awkward if you and your friends were sitting there and you were the only one not eating you don't want to do that don't put that much pressure on you now if you went to the beach and you could get food but you're like nah i'm good that won't make you feel awkward in comparison to being at a restaurant and not eating don't set yourself up for failure mitigate the amount of times you go out and eat and if you want to hang out with your friends transition those places to places of activity as opposed to consistently just going to restaurants now it's not to say that don't do it at all just mitigate them 
keep them at a minimum. Those are the five things that when looking at these studies, looking at people who have sustained weight loss and giving them questionnaires, they've revealed are the best tools that they have used to, to ensure that they've maintained their weight loss and continue to maintain their weight loss moving forward. Hopefully this video has helped you guys. And of course, as always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Peace out, guys.